Hawk 53 is underway. Right off the bat, you can definitely see the physicality of Nick. It's no slight against uh, Maxine, but it's just you can tell that one needs to be a bodybuilder. Yeah, Nick, uh, obviously uh, bodybuilding before. When we saw him in the Hard Knocks case as an amateur, this was pretty much what we saw. Under the amateur rules at the time, he was not allowed to ground and pound. So today, elbows are going to be a big part of his game plan. We'll see if he can exhibit that here as he gets the, the, uh, the takedown and lands on top. That's exactly right. And today could be that great day. So Nick Burnham on top, continuing to try and find a way. Poulain doing a nice job of sprawling out. Yes, and he, the key thing between these two people, they're, they're trying to establish dominance. Whoever gets on top has to hold a position. If you are countering, whether either on top or bottom, you have a window of opportunity. If you don't take it, then as you can see right now, Nick be on top, he'll stay on top. Yeah, look for a moment like Poulin was trying to sneak out the back. You can kind of see him over yep. there. But Nick has been so long as a wrestler in his life that body control mm -hmm. is there and, and the ability to know when you're going to lose that momentum battle and then try and maybe roll through it. And here's those elbows we talked about. But it's that body positioning and knowing where your weight is that's so valuable for these wrestlers. That's exactly right. Squishing, just squishing the life out of it and imposing your will. Uh, there, again, the elbows that we are talking about. It's going to be interesting to see if he's able to posture while in that dominant position. He wants to almost fall into every single elbow. Uh, one kind of example, if we're going to do a throwback, my, my victory against Tanner Tolman, that was my ability to use your weight. Use gravity in your advantage. And again, Poulin trying to scramble out. Burnham having nothing of it, driving through, keeping his weight on him, getting right back on. Poulin's done a good job so far of getting back into the guard occasionally, but it doesn't do it. And some blood now on the on the knee of Nick Burnham and uh, the back as well. That's obviously going to be coming from his opponent. The, 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 the thing to really look at is how Nick is on top of his torso. Uh, disconnected is his actual hips in Poulin. Uh, if your body and your hips are separated, it's harder to move and not be in these, again, smothering and dominant positions by Nick. So Poulin trying to step up, but again, like you said, just the weight of Nick Burnham holding him down, keeping him down, imposing his will upon him at this point in the fight, and just doing everything he can to, to, to keep control. And now slipping in what looks like what might be a guillotine choke here, and it, there's not an arm in. Don't know if he's quite got the, the leverage on it from here, <laughs> but, um, right here in front of us, but... Uh, He's attacking. That's the, that's the important thing. It's, it's constant pressure. It's constant. If it's not an elbow, it's a, um, it's, it's, it's a submission attempt. Uh, what Poulin needs to, there you go. He needs to throw his own offense. Get some distance. Uh, he can use his legs to push. He can also use that cage. With his back against the cage right in front of us, the, the one would assume he, if he can, either move his hips. Well, Nick's got his arms, he had his arms locked under his knees like he wanted to pull him away from the cage briefly. That allows Poulin a little bit of space. He's able to stand up, gets uh, some appreciation from the crowd for getting back up. But again, like a dog with a bone, Nick Burnham just not letting go of that single leg. Yep, yep. So Burnham right now driving through, trying to find an opening. It's been all Burnham so far. Poulin doing a good job of defending uh, but, but, I mean, obviously points are being scored uh, by Nick Burnham at, at almost every opportunity here. Yes, it's, it's constant pressure. Who knows if this will take away from him in the latter rounds, but right now it's, it's all Nick. Quick separation there from... Quick separation there from Nick Burnham and Maxime Poulin. A big right hand thrown by Burnham. Now Poulin connecting with one through, getting some offense now. But again, Burnham shifting, using the kick, setting up, trying the takedown. He's got Poulin against the fence and secures the takedown again. Yes, and that has to be just devastating to uh, Poulin in the idea that he is always on the bottom receiving end. It's the pressure, it's the constant looks, it's the constant attacks, and it's having to be on the defense. Yeah, just 30 seconds left in the first round of this three-round fight between Nick Burnham and Maxime Poulin, and it's been all Burnham so far. Poulin just landing one single jab in this round, but Burnham has just been smothering uh, Poulin to this point, although Poulin now reversing Reversing with just 10 seconds to go. Now has Burnham up against the cage. We'll see if he can do anything here with short time left. Maybe land a knee. There we go. Ah. <laughs> as, well played, we, sir. 
uh, uh, nearly as close as you can get. Yeah, there just wasn't enough damage, I would say. And here comes the hurt. Uh, Nick pouncing him already, obviously taking that momentum of the first. My issue going into this was, would he be able to keep that pressure? Obviously, he can. Yeah, again, strikes leading to takedown attempts. That's been Nick Burnham's modus operandi his entire MMA career. He gets guys onto the ground, he holds them down, and he punishes them once they're there. And that's what he's been able to do so far through the first five and a half minutes of this fight. And you can imagine that's what he's going to continue to do. Poulin's going to need to maybe get, well, first off, he needs to get out of this. Yes. But then he certainly needs to create some distance. Yes, yes. Um, I, I think that there's many levels to what Nick is pulling off in regards to the intricacies of actually not just having the weight, but also we saw it earlier where he was, he's, he's vine wrapping the, the actual leg of his opponent. Um, I want to see Nick get more posture. That's where he's really going to start using the elbows. And here we got a little transition. Yeah, trying to, to step on the leg and Poulain able to use that momentum to roll him off and get up, but finds himself right back against exactly. the cage. Again, it's a relentless attack so far from Burnham. Just he hasn't allowed him any kind of space. Yes, and if, you, if you're constantly in the defense, you can't get your own rhythm, and that's what, that's what Maxine has been dealing with. And unless he gets his butt off the cage as quick as possible, uh, it's going to be much the same in round two and possibly round three. So now landing some punches against Burnham up against the cage. But Poulin looks a little gassed at this point, too. I, I imagine the stamina is there as a military man. Uh, you got to imagine he's got, the, he's got the stamina to go. But when you've had somebody riding you for seven minutes now, uh, you know, it, it's got to take a toll on that cardio. And I didn't like the way the takedown was in general. Uh, here he is pushing through, and he'll probably end up getting it there. But he needs to lift him higher. Oh, Nick is really good really really good at just basically holding him he I, that's a wrestler's trick and the idea that you're holding your opponent's actual upper body and it just won't let you as an anchor um it just says no <laughs> yeah at this point uh, uh the the takedown was was not as successful for poulin as he would have hoped he got nick burnham to the ground but he ended up on the wrong side of him here as he's once again with his back on the mat and burn him on top. Yes, going back to that uh, that little transition that we just saw, that's him actually, Nick actually using uh, the leverage against Poulin. Uh, in many ways, he put himself in this place. So again, now Burnham trying to posture up. Poulin's been good at keeping the damage away in this position so far. Those couple elbows landed in round one, but you haven't been able to see that kind of posture up ground and pound. Uh, so far from Burnham, who has done a very effective job with defense, but again, it just swarming at this point, not, yeah. not allowing him any space to breathe, not giving him any second to maybe think about a submission, continually moving, staying busy and staying aggressive. Yeah, aggressive is the key. Um, obviously, he is in the right spots, but it's the transition. It's the neon belly. It's the trying to pass. It's the using the underhook in your advantage. In many ways, uh, Nick is being very successful at just being aggressive. Burnham being told uh, to take his fingers out of the cage. Referee's right on top of that. Now, again, trying to posture up his Poulin, and Burnham just pushes him right back down, uses his body against him, uh, it keeps his legs out from mm -hmm. under him, and, and pre prevents him from getting there. You can see he's got that one knee locked up with yep. his leg, preventing him from kind of kicking off, preventing him from getting away. There you go. Nice shot. And again, Burnham now maybe po trying to pop into the mount, and now he might have to pop away as that one ankle's there, and Poulin decides to use that as a sweep and lines up on top, and again, some appreciation from the crowd. Well, how could you not? He's been in the, I want to say, the not so dominant position this whole time. It's been all Nick, and to him to finish with just under a minute, that's huge for him. Even if not winning this round, that's him winning some momentum in his own regard. Burnham's got one arm underneath and just pushes his way through, and that's what we talked about earlier. Poulin was not able to use his weight and push himself through because uh, Burnham had his knee trapped. This time, Poulin just, or Burnham just pushes his way out. A yeah, bridge, it, yep. bridge into a sweep. And you could see the look on Maxime's face. So it's just like, oh, all that work for absolutely nothing. But A for effort. Well, and, and, and again, you know, uh, Nick Burnham is now dropping elbows. And, and I mean, 
He's trying to do everything he can to, again, leave the uh, in the mind of the judges that he's winning this fight. Third and final round here between Nick Burnham and Maxime Poulin. Burnham out of the red corner in uh, the black and gold trunks. It's the camo shorts out of the blue corner for Maxime Poulin. And Burnham, a former amateur champion here at Hard Knocks, and just locks the hands and right back to the takedown. Does what he does best and what Poulin seemingly has had no answer for. No, uh, bread and butter for uh, Nick all day, it seems. Again, there's, this early in your career, it, it's not a bad thing to have three rounds. The more mat time, the better, um, especially when you don't have necessar necessarily the same pedigree as a boxer. Boxers will have hundreds of amateur fights. MMA does not necessarily do that. So uh, in professional, the more time, the better. And that's exactly what Nick might get. And there are some of those more dramatic elbows like we talked about. That's yeah, that, creativity with it. That one, a big back elbow. Uh, coming uh, that kind of nine to three, if you will, uh, elbow from there. And now looking for the choke. It's more of a crank, but as someone this defeated with Mech, with uh, Poulin, it, it, it could just be the case of, you can see even in his breath, he's breathing, he's breathing. He needs to move and get space. This is where he needs to buckle and give every little ounce he has left in him. So Poulin at this point holding Burnham down, Burnham trying to do what he can here to get a finish, but so far so good for the Tumwater Washington making, uh, Tumwater Washington fighter rather, making his pro debut here. Burnham has been in control of this fight the entire time. And while it, uh, there hasn't been significant strikes, there hasn't been, you know, the kind of submission attempts you might see from the top, Nick Burnham has still stayed very busy and, and done a good job of, of keeping his opponent where he wanted him. That, that Yes, and let's throw in a little tidbit that he hasn't fought in a while. So getting time in there, whether it, it, it may not be a finish, uh, it may be in his best, uh, best advantage to actually do that. Like I said, more mat time, the better. And his hair looks bad, not bad, bad. <laughs> Our resident MMA hair expert, of yes, course. Yes, analyst. The best hair in MMA, uh, well-versed on giving his opinion about every man's hair, <laughs> and uh, apparently likes the look of the mop top of Nick Burnham. I don't hate it, I don't hate it. Nick Burnham staying busy on top, Poulin underneath, and there's a big swing from Nick Burnham. As he again just continues to work from up top, and, and credit Poulin's defense for not allowing Nick to do what he wants to do either, because I've seen Nick Burnham fight. He postures up, he gets the win, he, da he damages his opponent, and that he hasn't been able to do that today, and that's a credit to Maxime Poulin. Yes, but in anything that's just him not getting the home base, the home run. I think this in many ways, he's already in on third base and, and looking to finish, but it's just whether it's the fact that Nick hasn't fought in a while or, you know, just the idea of him growing as a martial artist uh, beyond that wrestler who can control, he needs to get more of those elbows. He needs to learn more about his actual posturing, his weight and violence. Might be looking here for his submission, trying to isolate the arm, but then comes in with the elbow. Again, it's it's one of those things where uh, that almost seems like his submission attempts are a distraction. Look over here, look over here, and while you're looking over here, here's the elbow. Yes, and when, definitely when you're in the advantage position, you got those luxuries. But here is where Poulin's been very good at getting something in regards to distance in the legs. Although nothing really happens, and obviously Nick just punished him a little bit. It's just one of those things where Poulin has not been able to get him, his, his rhythm in any way, sense, or form. And Nick's taken away all the way to third. One minute to go in the third and final round here. Nick Burnham spending most of this fight on top of Maxime Poulin, looking for submissions, looking to strike, but not able to do so with regular, uh, with any regularity. Poulin's defense been very good, but you can't play defense for 15 minutes. They say defense wins championships but not in mixed martial arts. It's offense all day. And Nick Burnham here doing what he can to try and finish this fight and keep Maxime Poulin down. Because at this point now, if you're Burnham, you also have to be afraid of puncher's chance. You can't, you don't want this fight back on its feet. You can't allow any kind of submissions because MMA can end in a second. And as a result, Nick Burnham has got to be careful these last 10 seconds. He doesn't give anything away. That's exactly right. It's as real as it gets, as they say. 
So now very short time left in the, this uh, final round. It likely will be a Nick Burnham decision victory. He throws a couple shots to the body to finish this fight, and he will move to 1-0 here at Hard Knocks 53.